Those who are wise will shine brightly, like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the Memoria of St. John Chrysostom. Born in Antioch in the late 4th century, he became the Patriarch of Constantinople before he was exiled there by the Emperor at the time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, who will that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering, grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teachings, we may be strengthened through the example of his invincible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Just as a human body, though it is made up of many parts, is a single unit because all these parts, though many, make one body, so it is with Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized, Jews as well as Greeks, slaves as well as citizens, and one spirit was given to us all to drink. Nor is the body to be identified with any one of its many parts. Now you together are Christ's body, but each of you is a different part of it. In the church, God has given the first place to apostles, the second to prophets, the third to teachers, after them miracles and languages. All of them apostles, or all of them prophets, or all of them teachers? Do they all have the gift of miracles, or all have the gift of healing? Do all speak strange languages and all interpret them? Be ambitious for the higher gifts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his sheep, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. We are his people, 
the sheep of his flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went to a town called Nain, accompanied by his disciples and a great number of people. When he was near the gate of the town, it appeared that a dead man was being carried out for burial, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a considerable number of the townspeople were with her. When the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. Do not cry, he said. Then he went up and put his hand on the bear, and the bearers stood still, and he said, Young man, I tell you to get up. And the dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Everyone was filled with awe and praised God, saying, A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. And this opinion of him spread throughout Judea and all over the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Paul was a great preacher. We know this from his letters to the various churches that had formed in the first century. We see how this man who was on fire at one stage for the persecution of Christians goes on to become one of the greatest Christians himself. And in today's first reading, he calls us to recognize that not each and every one of us is called to be a great preacher. But in fact, the body of Christ, which is made up of us through baptism, is made up of people with various gifts who are each called to contribute to the good of the whole according to that which God himself has given. Today we celebrate the memoria of St. John Chrysostom. He was called and chosen by God to be a bishop of the church, to be a great preacher, and indeed, he was known to be an outstanding preacher. That's where his last name was given to him. Chrysostom means golden mouth. It's because what came from his mouth, what flowed out of his heart, was the most valuable teaching for the people to hear at the time. But not just then. So too today, the liturgy of St. John Chrysostom is celebrated throughout the Catholic world, in the Eastern churches of the Orthodox too. Today, brothers and sisters, we look to his example as one who was a teacher and wasn't always accepted for what he had to say. The emperor at the time wanted to silence him, recognized how powerful the gospel message was and wanted it rather to be shut out. But when he was exiled, he had time to witness again to the great love of God that is stronger than anything a human being can throw at us in this world. His perseverance in the faith his continued love for God's people, even when he was sent away from them, became an even greater witness to his own life and the power of God to save. And God does choose each and every one of us to help make known in this world his saving message. 
In the gospel today, Jesus walks as not just the prophet, but he truly is God with us. They recognize in this, in the way that he saves this man who was appeared to be dead. The only son of the woman expressing the desperation of this mother. She was widowed. She had no one else to depend upon in her life. And in that time, this was an incredibly difficult task for her to face. How would she live? Surely this meant her death too. But Jesus says, do not cry. He has sorrow for us in our moments of desperation. And he comes to reveal that God truly has come to save us from our own iniquity. Whatever is lacking in the life of a Christian is made up for by the life of Jesus Christ, the Savior of all people. And so today, let us draw courage and strength from the preaching and teaching of St. John Chrysostom, from his belief in the God who saves, the God who knows us intimately, sees our need, and gives us what is essential for our salvation. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint John Chrysostom, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and Anthony our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through 
him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We proclaim Christ crucified, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God.
Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.